And we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast, bringing you our fifth and final segment, which is going to be going over the London series for this weekend for the Mets and the Phillies. So yeah, uh, this should be very, very fun. I always love these international series. Back when it happened, I remember the first one with the Yankees and the Red Sox. That was great. I remember the excitement when Aaron Hicks hit the first international home run. Not international, because Toronto, but I guess the first one in London or Europe. So yeah, it's very always fun. It's always fun to watch these kind of games. Always fun to have the game exposed to a bigger national audience. Of course, baseball isn't that impressive in London right now. Isn't that impressive in that area? I remember the WBC team of Great Britain. The biggest player they had was top Mariners prospect Harry Ford, who isn't even from there. Is I believe one of his parents is. So definitely not a great baseball scene in London right now. And I think that a series like this only continues to grow the game there. Only continues to do a great job there. So I'm very excited to see what the fan reception ends up being. Very excited to see this whole series in general. And I think they picked a great, great team for it. Now, the Mets and the Phillies, of course, a very historic rivalry going back to when the Mets were invented in 1962. So overall, that uh, overall this, this should be very, very fun. These two teams do not like each other. These two fan bases do not like each other. The Mets right now are fighting for their lives every single day with the hole they dug themselves in. The Phillies are trying to continue the claim of being the best team in the National League. So both teams have stuff to fight for. They both want to win these games. You both want to show off your fan base in internationally. And just so, so excited to end up watching this game. And so, so excited to end up seeing what does happen here. Um, I think it's going to be really great baseball to watch. Very, very fun. And yeah, overall... I am super excited to see this game. So the first matchup we have is Ranger Suarez and Sean Manaya. Ranger Suarez, I would say, gives the Phillies the big advantage here for the game one. No offense to Sean Manaya, who has been a great signing for the Mets this year. A very, very good pitcher, very solid. Just Ranger Suarez with how good he's been definitely is um, a bigger advantage to this Phillies team. With him being one of the Cy Young favorites this year, really breaking out, I think that the Phillies do have the advantage in Game 1 and should be interesting to see what does happen with him. He did come out from his last start early because of an injury, but the Phillies are saying that there's no problem with it. and There's no problem with him, and he's fine with the injury, and that overall um, everything is good, and that he um, is fine to pitch, and that is why he's not missing any time going straight back to pitching. So it should be interesting to watch what does happen with Suarez here. With Sean Mania, still a good pitcher for the Mets this year. Been very, very solid. Excited to see him pitch internationally. Next, in the next game, we have uh, we have Jose Quintana versus Taiwan Walker. Taiwan Walker, of course, with the Phillies facing his former team, the Mets. Hasn't been great this year. Definitely has not been what the Phillies expected when they signed into that long-term contract. I, like many fans, questioned that contract when it was first signed and still am correctly um, wondering why in the world did the Phillies give him that contract I don't know. There were so many better options than Taiwan Walker, and you gave him a four-year contract worth $80 million. Crazy. Crazy. So, yeah, that's been a horrible disaster for the Phillies, but especially with all the depth pieces that have come to life in the rotation, who could be pitching much better than Walker. But because Walker's getting paid all that money, you gotta you got to play him. So, rare misstep from Dave Dombrowski there. Jose Quintana has had a really rough go of it this year. I, frankly, letting my Mets fans show here a little bit, I don't know why he's still in the rotation. I don't like him this year. He's been very, very bad. He's old. There's a lot of better options the Mets have than Quintana. I think if he, he has one more real big blow-up start, especially against this good Phillies offense, they could look to DFA him. They've already done it with Omar Navias this year. They've benched host Jeff McNeil. So they're obviously showing that they're not afraid to give change if change is needed, if, even if you are a name in this league. So should be interesting. So I think Quintana might be fighting for his life of a, as a Mets player here, which should be very, very interesting. But yeah, very, very excited to watch this series. I'm so, so it's interested and just fired, fired up to see, this, see these two teams play. Again, I think it was a perfect matchup of the two teams they faced. And... Growing the game internationally is always something I'm a huge proponent of and always something I'm a huge fan always a huge fan of. I think that overall um, baseball needs to be grown and doing series like this only helps. You get to market these teams internationally, fans get to know these stars internationally. And hey, if one kid in London falls falls in love with baseball over this series, you've done your job. So always love these international series. I think London is a perfect place to have it. 
Um, um, hopefully they expand more internationally in the future with Europe. I think Poland will be a great place to have a game. I think that you know some other some other places like Prague would be a good place to have games as well. So, yeah, very excited to see what the future of baseball internationally is. I mean, we've already seen in India a, a whole a whole baseball league come about. So fans are obviously interested there. I think India would be a perfect place to have a game with the renewed interest in baseball over there with the new league, Baseball United, I believe it's called. So that should be very interesting. So, yeah, a lot to love as an international, as an international baseball fan right now. So many th exciting things happening. And, yeah, going back to the actual baseball part of it, again, I think this is a big series for the Mets. I, I think they need to at least win. I think they need to at least win one of these games. They have to split right now. They're on a hot streak. Francisco Lindor has been playing very well. And I think that winning this series against this good Phillies team, who has done really great this year, exceeded a lot of expectations, would be really, really great. And I'm very interested to see what does end up happening with them. And overall, yeah, I need them to, I need them to win this game, win one of these games, and uh, keep this hot streak going. Phillies are a much better team, so only winning one would be fine. But hey, you win two, you're doing really good. And for the Phillies, they also need to win, to win this. They need to show people that they're not a fluke this year. They're a very, very great team. They've exceeded expectations. And I think winning one of these games would show people that they're for real, they're legit, and they're an amazing team. And uh, I'll be very, very interested to end up seeing what does happen here with these two teams and... Yeah, uh, what, uh, what are the storylines that emerge from this? So yeah, very, very exciting here to see this London series happen. So, so interested to see this weekend and seeing what the reception is, what the atmosphere is at these games, how the teams end up playing, how, you know, if maybe the travel affects them. So yeah, I think this is a perfect series to ch choose here. You've already had some rivalries like the Red Sox and the Yankees go over. Mets and Phillies, I think it's a great rivalry, especially nowadays with the fan bases being attention. A lot of star power with this game as well. Guys like Francisco Lindor, Pete Alonso, Bryce Harper, Kyle Schwarber. You have also JT Romuto. So Trey Turner, who is hurt, but still is on the Phillies. So yeah, a lot to love about the series. Super, super exciting as a baseball fan. So fun to watch, and I'm looking forward to it especially as a Mets fan, getting from the Mets fan part of me in a second. It's so cool to see my team international finally. I've been wanting this for a little while, and yeah, I'm so excited to watch them win this game. The 10 a.m. game is something I'm so excited for. Just wake up and immediately watch baseball. It will be so, so great. Yeah, very much looking forward to the series. I think it's going to be a great time, and love these types of events by MLB, only growing the game internationally. It's no secret that MLB needs a younger fan base, and doing these type of events does help and does make a difference i truly believe so very excited to watch this and very um, very interested to see what the outcome of this game and series does end up being so yeah that is the show for today guys that is the show for today guys i want to thank you so much for watching remember who to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to not only get notified when i upload what all the other great content creators on this channel do we invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content and updates. It's a beautiful day outside. Enjoy it. We'll see if baseball throws at us over the weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. So thanks, guys, and bye. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go.